What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. Sorry for the late post. I'm just sorry. Um, I was just doing little errands, I went shopping, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we got a late video. I'm in a video. We got a late video today. Um, today it's just gonna be like a market overview. What went down? What crashed? How to make stubs off of this market crash? So, how to make stubs off the market crash right now, bro? What I realized, my predictions were correct once again. The market did crash. The market dropped a lot. And we're about to make a ton of stubs. So now, guys, the market is crashed. And I'm going to get into it. As per usual, drop 10K in the comments. Like the vid. Sub if you're new. 100 likes on the vid. We give away 10K. It's that simple. It's Saturday. Go watch the video. Like the video. Help your mans out. Drop a comment of whatever ever you want. Thank you for 1.1K. Um, the support, as per usual, is just unbelievable every single time. Every day I come out, I post a vid, and you guys just bless. But anyways, who wants to hear about my support and my all that? Because people are here to make stubs. And let's get into it. <clears throat> so, here it is, guys. So, what I'm realizing is, if you did not do the third inning collection, I did not. Everybody is going up and up and up. You're going to see Henderson, Verlander, and Alomar probably at 120k, 110k very soon. Their prices are going up. Their demand's kind of high right now. You're going to try to just wait. Hopefully, they keep going up. So, first thing, if you have them, just wait. If you're not doing a fourth inning collection, I am not. I will just try to be grinding it. I'm not getting the vouchers done. I refuse to do it. I don't think it's worth it. Because look at Cal Ripken's price. Look at Billy Wagner's price. So... Right off the bat, you're just going to lose a ton of stubs if you do it. So, mm, I'm good. I will stay away from this collection. That is just absolutely awful. Uh, whoever did it and doesn't have it yet, that sucks for you because you just lost a minimum of 50k stubs off the reduction and stuff. So, that sucks. Okay, second of all, if you pull Lou Brock and you have the rock still do not sell him yet wait for his card to go away and his price will rise for instance look at this brian mccann he's not in packs he went up about seven like 60k since he's released this new brock car is pretty good i have him i pulled him and i will definitely be using him in a game probably on stream probably tomorrow we'll probably have a stream sunday stream action i'll let you guys know in the comments if we're going to stream um always be checking my twitter and stuff for a stream but yeah so those are that's what i'm recommending to start off this video how to make stubs right now wait on him uh wait on these cards and sell uh you can sell if you want but i would wait um if you have the fourth inning collection cards you don't have them yet you took an l so that sucks for you um yeah so let's look at the the common card so ready yelich is up 81k that is one of the only players that did not go that did not get downgraded arnado's are really expensive as well so Mookie went down because he got downgraded. Scherzer went down in price. Chris Sale actually went up in price. But what I've noticed is right now, dude, Neris, bro, I lost so many stubs. I lost 70k off this card. I'm gonna literally commit suicide because that is ridiculous. I lost 70k. Cause told him for 110, made 100, and no, 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 no. We lost 70k. Um, Lindor is uh down a little bit. He was 80 something. Hater is down like 5k. Bias is down like 5k. Manny Machado's up a lot, actually. Uh, Bryce Harper is about the same. Edwin Diaz dropped a lot, probably 5, 6k. Um, Corey Kluber's down. Chapman's down. Oh, Corey Kluber's up. I'm bugging. Chapman is down. Matt Chapman is about the same. Okay. So, how to make stubs right now? What I recommend you do if you have any of the cards, Yelich, whatever. If you have any of those cards that got upgraded, I would literally go ahead and sell them right now. Right now is what they're looking at is their peak, peak, peak value. Like, I should have kept my Yelich, bro. Yelich is probably going to be a 90 to 5, bro, before the season ends. He's literally going to be rank 1. He's an MVP. He's a beast. He's not slowing down. What I'm noticing is that if any players got upgraded, just sell them. Um, this is their peak. If you have any players that got downgraded, um, you could wait and see if they do good. Personally, I... I seriously don't think it's good to hold on to any diamonds. I never have diamonds in my uh, binder. I usually have just not like quick sell value diamonds. So yeah. So Chris Bryant, is 23k. Um, not he's kind of cheap. If you could pick him up for 20, his price will probably rise. Honestly, that's cheap. That's like 
really cheap. And honestly, yeah, I'm picking a couple up. Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna try to pick up as many uh, Chris Bryant's as possible. We're gonna try to make mad stubs off Chris Bryant. I'll pick up two, man. I see his price going up to probably, well, I would say 30k, 29k. So we're gonna make a good, good amount of stubs off them. If you guys have Okuna for 74, um, do not sell him. I would go ahead and keep Okuna. Uh, Okuna, Okunya. I don't know how to say it, you know? No, I'm just kidding. I know how to say it, but I say it that way. So, people in the comments, chill. I don't care. Um, Noah Syndergaard, if you have him, I would sell him. Honestly, bro, he might go gold. It's getting scary. Ronald Okunya, 7,400. 7, I already went over him, but yeah, don't sell him yet. Wait on him a little bit. His card is beyond usable. George Springer at 5K. Now, let me tell you something. Dude, if George Springer comes back clean, he comes back strong, we could literally have a top card. Um, for 5,800 stubs, I have three. Honestly, I'll be holding on to him. I think he comes back strong. If he does good, he'll go up to 10. So this might be a time to invest in George Springer. Um, we got JD Martinez, 21,997. Not a good, not a bad price to invest at, even though his price has been there for a very, very long time. Let's see, Goldschmidt, 26K. He went down a lot. Honestly, not a good investment. Um, let's see, we're getting into the gold. Jova for 2,700 stubs. You can make stubs right there. Okay. Okay. Trey Turner is a very good investment. 1,800 stubs. If he goes diamond, we all eat. Um, I really, really recommend you all cop this Trey Turner for 1,800 stubs. This is how you're going to make stubs right now. You're going to invest right now. You're going to sell your high peak diamonds and you're going to invest in diamonds and golds that you think are going to go good for the next roster update. I do this every week in on in a uh, day on and day out. Uh, it works. Jose Ramirez at gold. I say he goes diamond again. Okay. He's playing like crap. But if you look at his line drive success is all these like all these stats, like these little stats, it means something. Um, supposedly he's getting very unlucky. I did like, I was looking at a lot of stats, a lot of, uh, analysis and, uh, talk about Jose Ramirez. And personally, I think he is getting really unlucky right now. I say he's going to have a very strong second half or maybe next month, this month, whenever he should start to heat up very soon. He just honestly kind of getting BS. He has, uh, like you'll see, uh, in my opinion, I don't think he's a bad investment at 6,500. I'm going to try to wait till he's a little cheaper. Maybe towards next week when the stub sale is gone. But yeah, honestly, a lot of players drop. A lot of players drop. A lot of players dropped. Xander Bogart's gonna get an upgrade. I'm very upset about that. Um, oh, it's kind of BS. You should invest in it if you can. If you can invest in Xander, I highly recommend it. Um, also, I was just about to say something and I forgot. Oh my goodness. Uh, guys. So Kirby Yates did not get an upgrade. Actually, did he? I don't know. I think he might have got one upgrade. Guys, so I'm gonna recap this. What you do want to do is, I'm sorry if I'm sorry my words. I'm an idiot, okay? Um, what you want to do is go sell your high tier diamonds. Yelich is, an, is one. Machado's one. Um, Arnado's one. The diamonds are very expensive because of the stub sale. Everybody bought diamond cars to do collections. So go and head and buy um. Go ahead and buy golds, invest in golds and low tier diamonds like 85 Okunas because they're going to go up and up and up. And especially Okuna, I think Okuna goes like an 88 before the end of the year. He should get upgraded again. He's a beast. But yeah, so Okuna, I say goes up. So players you should invest in right now to make stubs. I would say go Okuna. I would say go Yates. I would say go... Uh, Trey Turner, I would say go Bogarts, and I would say go Story, because they're all about to go Diamond. Um, Zach Greinke isn't a bad one. And honestly, if Zach Greinke goes Diamond, I will be using him. I'm obsessed with Zach Greinke. I refuse to buy his 95 or whatever it is. Um, Carrasco's not a bad one. Craig Kimbrell's not a bad one. Um, Jose Ramirez isn't a bad one, but this is what I'm saying. So, to sell your Diamonds is a plus, because you're going to make stubs. So, if you sell your Diamonds, you make stubs. You pick up gold, you make stubs. So right now, you could be making stubs two different ways. And right now, this is the best way to do it. How to make stubs. I just solved it. I just told you. Follow the rules. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Um, probably going to stream tomorrow. Be there. Hopefully, you pop out. Pop out at my stream. And that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed. Easy ways to make stubs. Peace. Hey, yo,